That's right, because you know, the Maoti leadership uh, is very young, second generation, and uh, you know, uh, young people, the youth, are bold and daring, they are very idealistic, and young people are attracted to idealism. And uh, given the fact that uh, the leadership of the Malay uh, belongs to the first generation of leaders, and they are, bo are, they are advocating for the political resolution of the conflict in Mindanao, which government has not yet complied fully, especially the passage of the BBL. So in terms of uh, uh, moral ascendancy, I think uh, the Moti group is taking something from the moral ascend ascendancy of the MLA as far as uh, the political issue is concerned. So they are getting recruits from the young. What has the MILF leadership done about this, sir, to make sure that the children do not go astray? The MILF has that political structure from the center committee down to the village level, and uh, we have institutions uh, like madrasas, like uh, non-government organizations, and uh, we continuously conduct dialogue with the people, especially the young, and tell them that this is the, the, the real teaching of Islam. Uh, and not otherwise. Mm -hmm. And to a very good extent, I think uh, only the factor of the MILF is preventing the multi group to recruit uh, so many people to their side. That's what people have to understand yeah. that without the MILF in central Mindanao. Yeah, they because right now, you more. know, modesty aside, the, the the greater majority of our people are still listening to the MILF, and we still has that we still have that uh, uh, popularity among the people.